What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI or another Dell Optiplex 7040. This is the mini tower. Upgrading the memory, video card, processor for a hard drive we upgrading or to soul state drive. So you guys how to do that. So you're gonna move the side cover panel. There's a little switch right here, you press it down and release the side cover panel. And first off, you're gonna do remove the front cover basil right here. It's got a clips, be really careful to remove them. He's gonna move the camera right here. It's a little clips right here, you gotta press them up really gently to release the front of the basil cover. And it comes right off. And it's a Dell Optiplex 7040 mini tower. And so what you guys gonna do is uh, this uh, this side cover comes right off like this. You hold your finger and it and it, it slides right out. So and first off, we're gonna start off the hard drive right right here. And the way you do that, you're gonna just take the SATA and power. And this little right here, you press on the press it down to release the caddy here, plastic caddy. And here's the hard drive and a plastic caddy. And to remove the hard drive, just little clips right here. You press on them like this, really gently with your finger to release it. And I'm sure you guys had to upgrade to another hard drive. And. Here's another hard drive. This I know. So what we're gonna do is remove this one and install that one. Really easy. It's got the clips right here to secure a lot. Be really gentle. You don't wanna break it off. It comes off. Uh, just install the hard drive. 5.25. So what we're gonna do is uh. Install it back like this and connect it just like that. That's how easy it is. So first off, we're gonna disconnect it again because I'll show you guys how to upgrade to Soul State Drive. And so remove the hard drive and we're gonna install Soul State Drive. To do that, you guys need to buy a caddy, and they sell the caddy online. Here's the caddy. You can install two hard drives in here, or two solid state drive, 2.5 inch right here. There's one right here. You can install one at the top. And uh, this one is a model. I'll show you guys the model. Let's see if the camera can focus. Let's see if the camera focuses or not. Uh, the model of the of the caddy is uh, zero R. 494D again 0R494D and this is the the part number for Dell to get the caddy again 04 0R494D and this is the caddy plastic caddy 2.5 inch for the solid state drive you can install the hard laptop hard drive in here and have two solid state drives one on top one on the bottom here it doesn't matter what kind of solid state drive as long as a 2.5 inch and to do that uh, we're gonna just stick this plastic caddy and install it like this and the way if you install the hard the laptop the solid state drive on the top it's gonna be harder to connect to the the cables but when you install on the bottom it'll be easier to install can you see it's law right here you can see it so we're gonna start at the bottom so we're gonna install it really easy here's the caddy we're just gonna install it back And so install the caddy right there, and you can install another hard drive of 2.5 inch laptop or soul state drive on the top, so you can have two soul state drives in the bottom or on the top if you want. So we, here's the caddy, this is how it's installed, and just gonna install it back, and you can put this back to. We'll play here. Now you're gonna connect the the SATA cable and power 
going to solid state drive like this and like that now what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna upgrade the processor it's got an Intel Pentium uh, G in here and I'm gonna upgrade to uh, i3 upgrade to uh, Intel Core i3 6100 the 6100T looks like, yeah, that's what the process is in here. So let's go ahead and so what you guys need to make sure you wear latex gloves and uh, get a Phillips screwdriver to do that. And there'll be for two screws in the bottom, two in the top right there. And remove the heat sink. And So we disconnected the heatsink fan. Now remove the four pin power to go into the fan right here. And what you guys need need to do is uh, you need to wipe down the thermal compound that's on the on the heatsink. So what I'm gonna do is wipe it off. And if your yard doesn't come off really well, you could just use a 50% rubbing alcohol to remove it. And just use a high quality paper towel, that's all you need. So, so we got that removed now, which we need to do is uh, remove the processor. So what I'm going to do is wipe it down, remove the thermal compound that's on it. And just remove this little clip right here. I'm gonna zoom in the camera. This little clip right here, you press it with your finger to the right like this, really easy. And it comes off. And the processor that's installed in here was uh, Intel Pentium G44, uh, it's a 4400. Intel Pentium. It's a G4400, it's a dual core processor. And I'm just going to upgrade to i3. Intel Core i3, I'm upgrading. And here's the old processor. So this is the older one, this is the new one installing. Camera probably can't focus. But uh, yeah, it's Intel Core i3 uh, 6100T. And uh, and see the clips right here, the little crack corners right here, left and the right. That's how you install it to the to the top. Just like that, really easy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply thermal compound the processor or you can just use it on a heat sink instead and all you need is just like a debit card or just a debit card work perfectly fine we're gonna install thermal compound so to be on the process it's gonna be a lot harder to put thermal compound so I'm just gonna put right here on the processor be on the heat sink cooler be a lot quicker so yeah that's good enough now and so we're gonna apply and spread it evenly like this Okay, we're done now, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect connect the back to the, the heatsink back and make sure you connect the wire, four pin wire, back to the motherboard.
and screw it back on. Okay, now do the top one too right here. Oh, let me get the screwdriver. Okay, the last screw, okay. Make sure they're tight. Okay, so we got we got the processor upgraded. Now we're gonna upgrade the memory in here. The memory in here is installed a DDR4 uh, DDR4 2133 90 cc and buffer memory. Again, DDR4 2133 90 cc and buffer memory. That's when it's installed. So I'm gonna put another stick in here. Because there's actually four gigs right here, one stick. I'm gonna put it with the exact same stick to go eight gigs. And you're gonna hear two clicks when the memory installed properly. So we install the memory. Now we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the VD card. And we're gonna install it through the PCI uh, Express X16 slot right here, the blue one right there. The black one is a PCI Express. X1 slot right here, that's for the wireless, either wireless card or sound card right there, the top one, this one right there. So you're going to move the PCI bracket right here, the second one. And I'm going to install the VD card in here. Let's get the VD card. Uh, I'm going to install the, the GeForce GT 730 this is like a low profile video card it's got the dvi connection hdmi vga this is a low power consumption video card so it's a geforce gt 730 and i'll show you guys because this this mini tower you cannot install all the other video cards because the only like a low profile let me get my tape show how many inches it is yeah, it's actually Get the tape in here. So the measure of the video card, yeah, it's around six inches. So any video card with six inches would be working perfectly fine. But only problem is the video card and in here, uh, the power supply that's in here is only maximum. Yeah, it's a 240 watt. The power supply in here. So if you're gonna go like a high end video card. It's probably uh, just just go with the low profile, low power consumption video card. We're perfectly fine. If you install like a high, like a video card that requires 400 watt, I don't recommend because it will overload the power supply. So we're gonna do install the video card right here through the PCI Express X6 install the blue one right there, the top one. So it's really easy. Just like this. And you're gonna clip it back in here, the PCI bracket secure lock right here, just like that. So yeah guys, uh, we upgraded the VD card, we upgraded the memory processor, and I'm gonna zoom out the camera, and we upgraded to, from a hard drive to solid state drive. So let me gonna close this up right here. So we close this up, now, what we're gonna do is install the front cover bezel here. Okay. Really easy, install it back. So we install the front cover bezel. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, Put the side cover back on. So that's it you guys, uh, this is for the Dell Optiplex 7040 mini tower. And you guys, you're gonna connect the monitor directly to the VD card. 
and go to nvidia.com and get the drivers for the VD card for which operating system you have install the drivers and restart the computer you can connect your monitor directly to the VD card so yeah guys this will be the end of the video thanks for watching bye